Hey guys, it is your girl Carrie, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you the answers to my Mother's Day 2013 Vintage Breakfast at Tiffany's Brunch. As many of you have requested, you wanted to see how I incorporated all of those Dollar Tree items. So if you have not seen the original video where you played the game to find all the hidden Dollar Tree items, I encourage you to go see that video first. It's very short, it's not that long. Play the game and then come back to this video and you can find out all of the great answers. So let's begin. The entire concept for this party started when I found this Tiffany blue. It's really not quite Tiffany blue, it's more of a muted Tiffany blue and that's what made me come up with the vintage theme or vintage feel because it wasn't quite that blue but I could make it work. And so this was the jumping off point for everything that you have seen in this party. So I picked up a roll of this Tiffany blue paper and this white you know this white ribbon and what I use this Tiffany paper for I used it to cover all the boxes that you see in the you know in the decor and I also used it to cover the inside of all the picture frames that you know label the food and hang you know hang over all of the food displays so all you needed was one roll to cover all of those boxes so this one dollar goes a long long way and like I've said if you've been watching me forever I absolutely love using wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree because it's an inexpensive way to add a ton of impact to a party now these brown little picture frames came from the Dollar Tree and for those of you have that have been with me for a while would have seen the personality party that I did for my daughter when she had turned 10. Well these are the same frames that were on that table there. What I did was I took the frames from that party and I just painted them a peach color to match the rest of the design and I used these frames in order to hang over the beverage station and the coffee and tea station. So how did I use the little crystal candlestick and the mirrored picture frame? Well here's what I did. I used them to make the risers. So I glued crystal sticks to the height that I needed them to be. One of the windows I just had two crystal sticks uh, glued together and then the middle window I had to glue three crystal sticks together to get the height that I wanted. So I just took some E6000 and glued three candlesticks together and I made four legs. Okay and then just by adding a plain piece of MDF board to the top of the crystal sticks you have your riser and I use these boards over and over for many occasions and if you remember my personality party or my cheers and beers video this is the same riser that's cut to the length of a window and I just use this over and over you just cover it with whatever new item you want so in this case, I added crystal sticks to the bottom of that. I put my little piece of MDF on top. And then after that, I just took the mirrored frame that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I ripped off the edges so that I could just have a plain mirror. And I, you know, hot glued that mirror down to the top of the MDF. And then I just went ahead and hot glued one inch squares of the mirror tile along the edge of the MDF board and that created my beautiful blinged out riser. Now here's a quick tip. In order to have this be uh, repurposed and you don't have to make it permanent, what I did was before I hot glued on these uh, little mirror tiles, I first put a strip hot glued loosely a strip of ribbon across the entire length and then hot glue the little tiles on top of that so when I was done all I had to do was remove the ribbon and all of the mirrors came off instantaneously and then I was able to reuse my little board over for whatever uh, event that came up next. Now how did I put together those really nice Tiffany mugs? Well what I did was I printed out on the clear glossy Avery labels, those are clear labels, I used the Baskerville font 
that mimics the Tiffany font and printed out those labels and once I printed out the labels I cut them to size affixed them to the cup and then I added two little diamonds um, towards each end of the word and that's how the Tiffany cups were created they were very simple and then after the event I just pull off the label and we're all set we have a nice you know clean cup ready to be decorated for the next event my little Dollar Tree champagne flute. These just sat atop of some boxes that were wrapped in the Tiffany blue wrapping paper and I just stuck in an additional gumball. We had a bunch of pearl gumballs left over. Just put that in there to give it a little more interest. The little silver tray were used in the center window and this held some of our desserts. Now when you mix in these little, you know, faux silver with your real silver, no one can ever tell the difference and it just blends in beautifully. The Tiffany Blue Ribbon. This again came from the Dollar Tree. Yes, the Dollar Tree sells Tiffany Blue Ribbon. So what did I use this for? I used this to thread the gumballs onto our gumball Tiffany Pearl uh, three strand pearl necklace. So that's what this was used for. Now what did I use these floral foam rings for? Well, I used them to make my donut lamps. Now everyone knows that Tiffany was also known for its lamps. It's Tiffany lamps. So I had to incorporate Tiffany lamps or my rendition of Tiffany lamps into my table decor. And that's what my donut pearls are. They are my rendition of the Tiffany lamp. So what did I do? I took the floral foam and I took a plastic tablecloth from the Dollar Tree, cut it into strips and wrapped it around each one of the floral foams. I then took a dowel or skewer and stuck all of the foam rings on top of each other and took a ribbon that was the exact width of the foam, you know, the center foam, wrapped that around, stuck on a small frame, picture frame that I actually got from the dollar spot out of Michaels, labeled it, and then I just took little boutonniere pins that you would put on, you know, for our guy's wedding, the little pearl pins, they're used for boutonnieres, took those, stuck those through the center of a donut hole because, you know, those boutonniere pins are pretty long, pins are pretty long, and just kind of stuck the donut holes all around the floral foam and then set this on top of the candlestick to make our Tiffany lamps. Now the mirrored candle holders I used as coasters for our event. Now you can find these in the section where they sell the candles in the Dollar Tree and I really like these because you see they have a nice beveled edge and they're really really nice. So we use those as coasters and there are a ton of uses for these little mirrored pieces and maybe sometime in the future I'll show you how I use these in other ways. And this right here is a DIY champagne bucket holder. And I got this idea from Nikki when I saw her video a couple years back. And so I just took a champagne bucket that I already had and one of the candlesticks that I already had and affixed it to the top of that. And I just think it turned out beautifully. Now in order to make that pretty candle holder, what you need is your Dollar Tree candle holder, your glass Dollar Tree candle holder. And then I ordered a vintage Tiffany & Company purchase receipt stamp offline and I got it so that it was not mounted. If it was mounted then it would have been flat and sturdy and you couldn't bend it. I want it unmounted so that if I wanted to go around something and stamp it, it would be, you know, you, you, you could bend it. It would be flexible. So I got the Tiffany stamp. And the final thing you would need is vellum paper. It's like that sheer uh, paper that you can get from Michaels or any craft store. And what you would do is stamp it with the Tiffany stamp and then just wrap it around the glass to size and it just comes out beautifully. I also use this flat stamp in order to make the Tiffany & Co. plates. So I just, instead of using the vellum paper, I took um, clear label stickers 
from Avery and I stamped the label sticker and actually stuck that onto the plate. Now you could buy food coloring gel and spread that over the stamp and actually stamp the plate with the food coloring gel so then your plate could be food safe but again I didn't order two stamps and I had already put the ink on it and stamped a bunch of other stuff so I had to use the clear labels and then we did not eat from the labels since those uh, eat from the plates that had the labels on them because they were not food safe so all we did was just sit another plate on top of that plate and that plate was just there for you know visual effect now the silverware this silverware right here actually came from Walmart from the Better Homes and Gardens line and these were a dollar a piece and uh, what, what I did with these I just took some Martha Stewart craft paint in the Tiffany blue color and just painted the handle and then I just affixed some um, you know embellishments some pearl embellishments to it and that's how I got the Tiffany blue silverware now what's good about the Martha Stewart craft acrylic paint is that after you're done you can soak it and that paint will peel right off and you have you know your original silverware and you can repaint it over and over again as many times as you wish I used a foam board in order to make the placemats on the main table. I just cut down the foam board to size and wrapped it in some of the peach velvet fabric and there you have it, instant placemats. Now I purchased these little blue books from Target in the clearance se uh, section. They came four in a pack and they were marked down to $1.98 a pack. And so these were, you know, my rendition of the old uh, vintage Tiffany blue catalog books that you used to get in the mail. And so what we did with these was make really cute little journals. And so I took these books and some Dollar Tree ribbon. And what we did was just wrap the ribbon and put a bow on it. And then again, we used those glossy labor, um, Avery labels to print out our Audrey Hepburn quote. So you had a choice to print out an Audrey Hepburn quote or either use that rubber stamped Tiffany stamp to stamp on your label and affix that to your book and decorate your book any kind of way you want. And that was your journal and that was your takeaway favor. So what did we use these little craft dress forms for? I actually picked these up from Michaels and they were 50 cents each. Well, they were used for our name card holders and they were also served a purpose as an activity that we played. So our names were on the front and so on the back of each of the play settings there was a question and this one says I wish my mother knew and then I would have to answer that question and then after I answered that question each of the other ladies took a turn to say what they wish their mother knew and then it would continue on to the next person and then the next person would read their card and this one says the hardest part about being a mother is we had another one that said my children taught me we had another one that said, I wish my mother would have told me. And then we would just kind of fill in the blank. And I tell you, there was not a dry eye at the party. After every, you know, person told their stories and, you know, gave their answers, everyone was crying. But those were good tears that were shed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and then shortly after this, maybe in the next day or two, I will be putting up a video to show you some Mother's Day gifts for any budget and I'll also have a Mother's Day gift giveaway for all you mothers out there. So stay tuned and hopefully that video will be coming soon and until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on.